Well, a few months ago, we saw the results of Pete's MyHeritage DNA test, and he was pretty spot on about what it would find. You told me that your family is Norwegian, as far as you know. Yep. Sir, you are correct. You are mega Norwegian. Wow! <laughs> He's a Viking. Mega Norwegian. <laughs> well, I love that. Griff also <laughs> took the test. Now it's time to find out the results. Yvette is here. Yvette Corporan is a collaborator for MyHeritage.com and the author of Something Beautiful Happened, and she joins us now. I'm dying to know, how Norwegian am I, Yvette? I have to say, you guys may or may not be cousins, but you have a little bit of a more diverse background than your friend over here. I believe Are you that. ready to dive in? I think there's some really incredible surprises. I am, I know, and, right? and we have been, uh, I've been taking a long time to get this to you, Yvette, because I've been traveling the Caribbean right. and other things, but I truly have no idea what my heritage is. All right, well, well let's dive in, because we have some really cool, interesting surprises for you. You ready? Oh, right. Okay, first let's start with the DNA ethnicity <laughs> breakdown. Okay, Griff, you are 41.4%. Irish, Scottish, and Welsh. Oh, I believe that. Okay. Right. You yeah. are also 32.7% Scandinavian, oh. which is Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. Welcome, cousin. There you go. 14.9% <laughs> Iberian, which is Spain and Portugal. Okay. Not sure if you knew that. 7% East European, which includes Poland, Romania, Ukraine, Latvia, and finally 4% English. Ah. Okay. So he's 100% so, European. 100%. There's a little bit of everything there. A little there, bit of diversity there. But not just that, because MyHeritage is such a global database, you actually have close to 15,000 people around the world who share your DNA. Wow. Lots of cousins waiting to connect. And <coughs> the researchers at MyHeritage were able to go back using this information, using their database of billions of records. They actually built a family tree for you going back eight generations wow. with 92 people in it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Eight generations? Eight generations. I'm not good at math. Eight but generations. That's a lot. That's, that's a lot. Like that. That's a pretty large family. And there are some surprises in that family tree and some really cool historical stuff as well. You ready to dive in? Yes. Okay, let's start with your mom's side. Your Irish roots, right? About 41% Irish. Mm -hmm. Well, your maternal family came over on a ship called the Envoy from Ireland bound for Pennsylvania. Now, I believe we have the ship's manifest. On that manifest, you can see your great, great, great grandparents, Charles and Rosanna Crawford. Wow. They came over with their nine children, including your great, great grandfather, Charles, who was three. You can actually see his name on that Look manifest. That. He was three. Wow. Also traveling were twin infant girls, Matilda and Rebecca. And where it's highlighted, you can see that Rebecca did not survive mm. the journey. She oh. died on the ship. Now, this was the time of the Irish potato famine when wow. they came over. So the baby did not survive, but the rest of the family did make it here safely. Wow, well, that's amazing. You got the, the manifest. How, does, how do you guys trace back to something as historical as that? I mean, that's really... So there is a database on my heritage of close to 10 billion historical records, including... Uh, immigration documents, ships manifests, census documents, marriage certificates. And in that database, we found something pretty cool. This is your okay. grandfather's World War I draft registration document. Wow, Seabrook wow. Griffin. That is your grandfather. He was 20 years old when he registered for the draft. It says that he was a bookkeeper and that he was of medium height, medium build, brown eyes, and brown hair. Well, how about Aww. that? That's really cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, I will send a copy of this to my mother who's watching. Uh, <laughs> Hi, Mom. That I know she's going to, that's her father, obviously, and right. uh, he had a, uh, a furniture store, and so I actually have a, a glass from the oh, Griffin wow. Furniture Store, and so that's a really cool thing. Excellent. Now, here's what I got to know. How do I get in touch with the 15,000 Griffs in Europe? <laughs> well, before I do that, I have to tell you, before we get there, you have a really cool piece of history on your dad's side. Did you know that you have a connection to the Alamo? No. Oh, ready for this. Your great, great, great grandfather, George Kimball, was actually one of the Gonzalez Rangers. He's one of the gentlemen who answered the desperate call for help of the men who were under siege at the Alamo. He went to his wife. That is his That's son. Him? That okay. is his son. And th so those are your great grandparents. But your great, great, great grandfather answered the call to go to the Alamo. He then went to his wife, who was washing clothes down by the river with your great-great-grandfather, who was two at the time, that's him, and said, I have to go help these men. I will likely never return. And he was killed on the last day of battle at the Alamo. Wow. wow. Thank you that's so amazing. much. Isn't that amazing? Uh, that's amazing. Cool. That's a piece of history. Remember the Alamo. <laughs> You'll never forget it now. That's what great. Happened? Now, we're going to have to test you. Yes. Oh, boy. Okay, so it is a simple. We've tested everyone. That is your turn. It is a simple cheek swap. You take that and you swab the inside of your cheek for about 30 seconds. Are you getting, like, 
uh, I can't see them. Are there germs in there? Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. You do that for about 30 seconds, and then what you do is you pop it off. We send it off to the lab, which is in Texas. In about three weeks, you'll get your DNA ethnicity breakdown. Cool. And then, like you, you can choose to connect with people all around the world who share your DNA. I'm still doing this. You guys wow. No, it's, it's, <laughs> it's good. It's great. It's go, awesome. Go to MyHeritageDNA.com. Use the Fox coupon. Viewers get free shipping. Yvette, thank That's you right. so much. Sure. Really, I'm, I'm still stunned with that. MyHeritageDNA.com. Use the code FOX if you want to check it out. Exactly. Free shipping. And because of the stories that we've done, we know of two families here in the U.S. who have found one another because of the segments they've seen here on Fox, uh -huh, inspired to find their own history. I'm excited. Thank yeah, you. the cool. details. Woo. Thank you Thanks, so much. guys. All right, well, the left.